just finished up uh, putting eaves troughs on this home here. They had, um, actually they had a downspout right here and uh, I actually got rid of it. The reason why we got rid of the downpipe here was because if you look, uh, it's all a walkway and there's no, uh, there's no proper grade to take the water away from the home. So this downspout was really a troublesome one for them. Um, the other thing too here is that because they didn't have the proper angles and slopes on the eaves trough, the, um, the eaves troughs would overflow here. And because if you can look along the back of this house, this house is especially vulnerable to any malfunction of the eaves trough because of the fact that there's window wells there's a, a depression there that goes down to an entrance. They were way. thinking that they needed a downpipe way at the far end down there, but that's all patio, <coughs> excuse me, and brick, and the neighbor's house is very close. So instead, it, it's some, it makes a lot more sense to carefully uh, grade slope all the eaves troughs down to this so end. It was um, about 70 feet, so that's where it's critical to level the eaves troughs Here properly. Is a three and a half by three and a half, which is double the capacity of the little downpipe that they had. Combine that with the leaf guard, so they're not going to have any debris in there that to overflow, walk up the top of the outlet. The there's a pipe going across the walkway isn't ideal either, but based on the way that there's walkway all the way around the house, it's um, it's impossible not to have something going across the walkway. So in cases like this, you can easily put a pin in the uh, in there so that when you get to haul the bins and such out, this pipe comes right off and slide it back on. And uh, that's a quick, easy way to make these pipes removable.